Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. We're going to be kicking straight off with more of the Ray Lucaria area. Obviously from the main grace that we have in here, we're just going to be taking the, uh, the elevator. If you guys want have any questions about how we got here, please see the previous episode in the playlist. I don't want to go through too much of what we've already done because that's too repetitive for me. But I have enough time right now to say that much as we go up the lift. This next part then is a little bit uh, frantic. We need to be getting up these stairs as quickly as we can. Uh, so if you want any loot, I can't remember if there's anything this way. There might be something this way. Let's take a look. can't remember now. Should be something here. Here we go. Got some magic grease. Um, I'm getting close to the magic. Why, why does it sound like there's enemies here? No, there's nothing here. So uh, we've got two mages up there, and they are going to absolutely try to pelt um, pebbles at you. And just that noise is it's bothering me. Um, and that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Now we are obviously blessed because we have bought with us the best evasion skill in the game. So we're just going to get on up here and open the door. Because that is the best thing to do. With that done, we're going to evade to the left. And just keep on coming through. We don't really care about any of this. We're going to keep on coming through and go straight to the left. So that we can have the next grace. It's almost like they knew this encounter that we have ahead of us right here is a bit ridiculous. And maybe they needed to place a grace for us. However, we get to have the last laugh, because we tagged the grace and lost, like, nothing. So we're good. Now then, so that we can take this room on, let's go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive. So as we come out, we've got Mage on the left. We're going to go ahead and take this guy out, otherwise he's going to bother us a lot. Next up then, we're going to have... Oh, it's not going to let us uh, aggro that one. Never mind. One down. Two down. Excuse me. Let's come around to the left. I think there's an upgrade stone down here. I can't remember what it is now. There's something here. Yeah, I knew it was an upgrade stone. There we go, see? Ah, I was so confident. Got this bit. And then we got this. Ooh. Excuse me. I can I can literally see you. There we go. Yeah, let's finish with a poke. Ah, get poked. There we go. Uh, so that's all of that. Now you may see, I don't think you, can, you can't actually see them patrolling. In any case, we'll be up there later on. That's like mega later. And then we just want to poke this. It's, I think it's just a rune arc. It's nothing mega. It's a nice little secret nonetheless. I guess the way to know this is here is to see it from there. Hmm. Either way, so we've cleared this main foyer a bit now. Uh, there was no loot out there with those two guys, so we don't really need to tangle with them. And we can feel good in the fact that we just kind of cheated our way through there. <laughs> Rather than having to fight it all, which was kind of nice. Uh, if you are... Wait, you know, it's probably a good idea. Let's rest at the grace, otherwise we won't have my physic available. And that's going to be a good idea. Pardon me. We have like a mini boss thing to defeat. It drops a spell. I don't know whether we should do something that I did the previous time we did this. I haven't actually decided on that yet. We do enough damage, but we don't have anywhere near enough health. What I'm thinking about. Uh, so, as we come through here, we're going to go to the left. I think we want the upper path. I remember right, this should be like a drop-off. We want to take. Nope. So, as you can see, this place is an absolute pain in the ass. It is full of zombies and they steal your FP if they happen to grab you. So not only are you going to lose your health, you're going to lose your FP. So as a mage, this place is all the worse. So just bear that in mind. We're going to come around the back of these graves for this little path. It's the one I was thinking about earlier. So come down here. No, no thank you. No, we don't want any kisses from you. No hugs, no bites. Yeah, I know you think it's loving, but it's not. come across here. At least they can't jump. At least I don't think they can. I've never seen one jump. Uh, this should bring us out to... Oh, set of ashes. Excuse me. 
And I believe it's an ash of these. Um, and they're actually quite good. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say like amazing, but the fact that they can shoot like that is very nice in terms of if you if something's got not something doesn't have very much poise, um, the pair of them can pretty much pin something until you deal with it, um, which is a bit mental actually. So that we're here. Uh, you can't see any of them, I guess. It's kind of cool. look at that arrow sticking out of my head. How big are the arrows they fire? There you are. I thought there was more enemies here than that. Hmm. In addition to just where... Oh, I was going to say, don't crash on me. If you wanted to just run past everything come down here, you could come there. Me showing you that has just triggered all the zombies. That was a bad idea. I knew there was supposed to be more. I then want to come over to the left here. And we're going to go over the... Um... The four, let's, go, let's go with Fallen Graves. Why am I suddenly able to summon? Why here, of all places? It's strange. Excuse me. No, no, no. No, no. I'm not triggering no traps. And about the life. I don't think it is a trap. It's just wanting to, to run into more dogs. There are more dogs as well. Let's just be careful. I can see you. I can, I can see you. Excuse me, dog. Trying to be cheeky. I can attack through walls now, you know. Oh, double. Hello. Oh, no. Shouldn't have. Okay, so. There's lots of ways we can deal with this next little bit. We're going to get the armor set first. I've had a lot of questions about what this is. Get out of the way of that. I don't want any of you. Just make sure we get these little bits. Uh, we're actually going to come out there in a minute, so I probably didn't need to grab that right now. Get off. Runark's very good for those. Very nice. Uh, done, 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 done. Nothing crazy there. Good. Okay, so we're going in here. Um, and you've just kind of seen, there's no reason to fight that many of the dogs or zombies at all. Um, and from here, we're going to take this right hand drop out just here. We get the golden rune. That is not the main treasure. Let me assure you, it's a good treasure. This is the treasure. I really like this armor set. This character's probably never going to have the uh, stats to wear it, but it looks awesome. Uh, that's everything here. Then we want to go back up here, and it's like a little. There's a little hidden cave on the left as we come back up here. Always, I, I always, I, I can't talk today, wow. I always miss this. Here we go, this is where we were earlier. So now we can just pass on through. Oh no! This didn't grab me, that's okay. Um, means a quick talisman swap. Oops, don't get grabbed, please don't get grabbed. That'd be bad. It's a bad time to have taken damage as well. We've got an enemy we need to face. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so, um... Are they following...? Yes, they are. That's really annoying that they are still aggroed. By the time we get it back, it gets here. We should be, we should be sorted. Right, let's go ahead and pop the physic. Health is now full, which means... Extra power-up. Right, so we want to get this guy dealt with. So you're just going to come over here like this, look, and you can see he's going to aggro. Um, there's another gravity Zamor guy. There's going to be an area where there's tons of these. Um, they're, they're not even easy to fight then. Oh, we took his spell away. That was real weird. First time you defeat him, we should get gravity well. Then we'll have... Excuse me, I want to get that loot. That just there. What are we on? Nine minutes. We're doing real good time. I was expecting it to take much longer than this. Okay, so when this comes up, you're going to want to jump on there. Maybe uh, take a bit more time getting over than me. Uh, if you missed that, it is a long-ish reset, realistically speaking. Let's get the, uh, the special jump method ready. And get on off. And go ahead and do this. This is where you're going to find Thop later on. 
this is where you're going to want to kind of have our base of operations for a little while. I still don't know whether or not we should do the cattail talisman. Oh. If we do, it triggers a load of stuff. And anybody that's not comfortable with what you'd have to do to get out of there is not going to be happy. But you don't have to face a boss. Or do you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm talking to myself. I'm proper monologuing right now, aren't I? Um, just to kind of make something clear about what I'm thinking about here. If you um, follow this water wheel all the way over, so when you get up there, you kind of like go over the side of this um, and then follow it all the way down to the bottom, there's one of the Iron Maiden ladies. And if you let that kill you, um, it'll take you to like a, uh, a much later game area. And um, it's a cool place to go because we can get some much, um, much stronger items there. But when I think about it, I don't even have a weapon I want to upgrade with the items we'd get. And it wouldn't even give us any spells. So actually, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm sure there will be other people that recommend doing it. But for me, I think it's actually better to, for us to just leave it. We can go down there and get the silver cat ring. But I'm going to leave that until I'm ready to see to show you guys what I mean. Maybe at the end of one of the episodes. So for now, instead, we're actually going to progress this way. I'm sorry that took me a while to kind of just decide whether or not I want to do, wanted to do that. But uh, I did have some people in the previous walkthrough that we did that with get stuck there. And I think I'd rather avoid that. Ah, oh, I thought I got the backstab there. So we're going to come back this way. I'm going to get a... Uh, one of several... Um, masks. I think that's the only secret in here. I think... Uh, if, someone, if I'm right, I didn't even, I forgot to check there. I think you, the way that you spot them is they don't have books on. Come on around. And then you'll be like, Oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh my, you can jump up here. Hello. Aha, loot, you say. A livinous crown. Flintstone crown, even. Well, there's loot there that I didn't collect, look. Silly me. It's nothing crazy. A few extra runes for you guys. Uh, and we're quite close to the boss, but there's a lot we want to do before we get there. Say a lot. There's a, f a fair amount we want to do before we get there. This is actually going to be a very nasty area for me. Stop that. Uh, you can actually get that sword from him with that Ash of Warren, which is quite good. Um, we actually have the stats for it as well, if I remember rightly. It's the Lazuli short sword. Um... But it's a really low drop chance, and trying to farm it from him right now is going to be a nightmare. Uh, so I don't know if I recommend it or not. The, if you want like a sword that will slash and do good damage, m maybe. Uh, my rapier is like good for two things, right? It's got the Bloodhound step on it, and it gives me good crit damage. You're not going to have either of those two things from that sword. Instead, you'll have um, an on-demand version of Carrying Great Sword, which is probably good. Especially if you can upgrade it with the Asher of War. I don't know. If anybody happens to try it, let me know what you think of it. Whether or not you think it's worth it. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I've just screwed myself there. That was real bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. We could have taken one out. And there's, the thing is, there's like four of them right here. But this is really crazy. And this is why these are such a pain in the ass. Because they can just keep you pinned down. They've got unlimited FP. There's almost no reason for them to move. They're like little turrets. That's you down. There we go. Oh, man. Luckily, they don't have much in the way of poise. you got to be careful here, because on the other side of there is a big pot thing. Apparently they aggro together as well, whilst I'm not on full health. Let's do that. There we go. 
Okay, that's you down. Right. Better. Are you aggroed or not? Didn't realise we could stagger you with this. I'm quite shocked. Actually. <laughs> I'm minorly impressed. Right. And the devastating thing about all of this is we actually have to get past all of this to get to the boss. So... You're going to have to get used to the idea of running past all of these at some point, probably. Let's deal with you. Control pot. I have another one here. You really need to be quick because he's got friends. No. Great um, actual spell sword build in the game, though. It's nice to see these kind of um, almost archetypes that we could, in fact, use ourselves if we wanted. Oh, we could. Why oh, did you have to? I was just thinking, like, oh, we could sneak past. Okay, then let's, let's go this way, like this. Look. <laughs> I do like using the sneak mechanic with this character. Uh, we probably do have enough to get past to the boss. Okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not reset. I'm going to try and be brave. We've got four flasks. That should be well enough to take the boss on. I reckon. Oh, there were 17 minutes. Ah, uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're going to do it anyway. I don't care. I thought there was something in this corner. No? I know we have to jump over this. Secrets within secrets, my friends. Uh... Nothing on here. Nope, it's just the drop down. I think there's a pot in here. Is there a pot in here? Well, there's a pot in here. Little pots. It's the big one. I thought there was a big one. No? Okay, well, Graven School Talisman. Um, a bit of a trade off we could talk about here. Um, in that the Graven School Talisman is a 4% um, spell damage increase in comparison to our uh, Sword Talisman 10% damage increase on everything. Uh, but the debating difference being obviously that 4% is earned to be active all of the time instead of um, how I only have my um, Sword Ritual Talisman active when I'm at full health. Yep, yeah, I'm still just going to sneak on by you. That's my plan. Here we are. So, uh, this could be kind of tough, so let's just prep before we go in, and we'll grab Lutlin. Um, we've faced one of these before. So we'll see how it goes. I really need to get this off quickly before it starts really nailing on me. Uh, I don't know if this one is easier or harder than the other one that we fought out in the wild. It's obviously more aggressive. Ouch. Oh man, split fire. No. We don't want that. <laughs> Luthal's not even taking a hit yet. Oh man. I'm dead. <laughs> I knew it. Okay then, after a good successful run back, round two. Obviously just noticing how fragile we are there was uh, eye-opening, right? I really do need to be like, okay, <laughs> maybe it's time for some health. Like really, got to concentrate on some health if we want to actually survive any amount of hits. Um, like, we could aim for, like, some kind of zero hit build, but I've always been bad at that kind of thing. And we are going to progress mighty slow if we do that. Right, come on, little. I need you to draw some aggro here. 
There we go, right, let's do this. I mean, I'm only three casts probably away from victory, right? Being able to um, do the damage we do is real good. Right, let's switch to Pebble, because let's not mess up here. Go on, little. Tickle it. You just got to tickle it a little bit. Okay, we'll do it. It's got hit. It's got hit sensors. It knows. <laughs> there we go. I'll take second try. That's not too bad. Um... And that's going to give us access to a lot of really good stuff. Um, what we decide to equip right now is quite tough because we, we don't have an extra slot yet. So in terms of damage, this is going to be great. However, Radagon's icon is literally right above us, which is going to significantly increase how quickly we can cast. I'm going to get it now. So I don't know why I just tried to mount up. That was kind of funny. Um, so that I don't forget, because I forgot this the last time I came through, which is why I'm going to do it now. We're just going to come around here. I'm going to come around here. I'm just excited about getting this icon. Um, I'm going to go up the ladder. We probably should use it. I could put it on instead of the uh, tree favor and then have to lose a load of equip load. We'll see. We'll see if it fits. We'll see if it fits. But I'm going to lose health, but I can put points into health. That's okay. We'll have less stamina. Mm. This could this could be uh, this could be problematic. <laughs> this is what we want. We've been sorely desperate for this for a long time. Next, then we have this. I don't think there's anything good on this balcony particularly that we need to be like mega worried about. Come on. Really enough, this guy's never aggroed on me from the top. You'd think he would. Is there any loot up here? Yeah, there is something. Golden Wound 4. Is that everything from here? I think it is everything. I don't remember there being anything else. I knew there was something on the balcony, but... Yeah, that's everything. Cool, so we'll drop, that, we'll drop back down. We don't want to do anything else in the courtyard. We'll save that all for the next episode. Um, Let's... Take a moment of truth here. Can I... I'm on medium load. How... Oh, it's because I put the bow on. Oh, my God, you fool. Uh, can I put on Radagon's icon? I'm still being... I can. Ha ha. Got less health, though. <laughs> okay, we can. That's good. Uh, so let's just kind of... Let's cast this, right? This is going to feel much quicker now. In comparison to... Uh, without it. Yeah, I don't know. I can feel it. I don't know if you guys can feel it, but we're going to be having that on. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've got a couple of levels we can use. i got one level I can use. That should probably be on health. Let's be, uh, let's be realistic here. That's going to have to be my next few levels. Cool. So that is the end of this episode. This was a little longer than I'd liked, but we did get the first boss knocked out, which is good. Um, in the next episode, there's a lot of good stuff for us, which is going to probably significantly increase our effectiveness. In particular, we're going to get the magic wet whetstone, which is going to allow us to change the rapier damage to magic, which is going to be good. Um, especially the physic actually will affect that magic damage. So in terms of like rapier damage, that's going to be... Um, exponentially higher because it's now going to scale without int. In addition to that uh, we've got a load of drop-offs to do from the rooftops as well as uh, the Ronaldo boss. So tons to do. May well be two episodes because it's quite a lot. So uh, yeah I'll see you guys again soon.